But the first time that we used lithium in medicine was not for our mental health. Do you want to guess what it was for? Was it for thyroid stuff? Gout. Oh. This guy in 1847 in London, Alfred Berengera, he's looking at all these gout patients and he was like, hmm, when I look in their blood, I find these like uric acid crystals. Maybe lithium could help break up the gout, was his thought. Like, and he also, prop, like the chemical properties of it. Like yeah, that, like, exactly. They won't form the crystals. So gout is formed by uric acid, which is sodium monourate, right? Or monosodium urate, sorry. Sodium is one step below lithium on the periodic table. So that sodium, a monosodium urate, it can precipitate in like, when precipitate, I mean like it, it forms a solid and a liquid solution. But when lithium reacts to it, it forms lithium urate, which is much more Smaller. soluble. Lithium um, is basically going to shove sodium out of the way mm -hmm. because it cares more about getting rid of the electron. And then it starts dissolving the uric acid. So like lithium will literally dissolve uric acid, which is it's a pretty cool um, feature of it. The other mm -hmm. thing so did it is, work? yeah, it did work. Oh, and this is a common thing. We find that like lithium is effective for this stuff, but the reason that it's not used and was stopped being used is because everyone would keep getting lithium toxicity. Yeah. So we'd be like, oh, let's blast them with lithium for their gout. <laughs> oh, fuck, they're getting lithium toxicity. Like, this 